good morning dear students i hope you all are fine so today we are going to start your fourth chapter of english that is the luncheon and uh, the word luncheon means to say a formal lunch means you are having a meeting with someone and you are offering or you are inviting that person to have a lunch with you so that kind of lunch is called luncheon and this is a story about the lunch that the play writer was having with a lady and before starting the reading what you have to do you have to tell about your favorite dish and why do you like that dish the most and where do you eat it most frequently means at your home at a restaurant at a friend's house or at a relative's house where do you eat that uh, particular dish so uh, in this chapter we are going to read about a lunch story uh, about a lunch date or you can say about a luncheon of the writer and uh, a lady with whom he had that lunch and how funny that lunch meeting was so we are going to we are going to read that and uh, before starting our reading let me tell you about the writer the story is written by somerset mohagam and which is very renowned english play writer novelist and short story writer and he became very rich uh, by his through his writings uh, all these kind of novels etc so very beautiful story very funny story let us start reading about the story now so the story starts as i caught sight of her at the play and in answer to her beckoning i went over during the interval and sat down beside her it was long since i had seen her and if someone had not mentioned her name i think i hardly think i would have recognized her she addressed me brightly so what uh, the writer was saying that actually uh, the writer was now talking about the present and then he will talk about the past so at this time the writer was also a old man and that lady is also a old woman and where they met now they met at a uh, you can say at a theater both were watching a play and during interval the writer goes to that lady to meet her so what he was saying that that they met at a play and during interval i when she called me during interval i sat beside her it was long since i had seen her and if someone not mentioned her name i hardly think i would have recognized her so the uh, you can say the face of that lady is totally changed now that lady is totally changed now that he is unable to recognize her recognize means to say pehchanna kisi ko so the writer was unable to recognize her if someone has not mentioned her name agar kisi ne usko uska name nahi bataya hota then he will be totally unable to recognize her she addressed me brightly usne usko acche se पहचाना और उसका uh, उसको ग्रीट किया सो वेल इट्स मेनी ईयर्स सिंस वी मेट फर्स्ट हाउ टाइम डज फ्लाई वी आर नन ऑफ अस गेटिंग एनी यंगर डू यू रिमेंबर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई सॉ यू यू आस्ट मी टू लंचन डिड आई रिमेंबर सो एंड ही सेंग दैट लुक how the time passes how fast the time flies and do you remember about the first meeting about our first meeting when you invited me to a lunch and now the lady is asking from the writer that do you remember the time then that at that time when we met for the first time and uh, she is saying that how time flies how uh, fastly time flies and at that time you have invited me for a lunch do you remember that now the writer is thinking that yes it was 20 years ago and i was living in paris i had a tiny apartment in the latin quarter overlooking a cemetery and i was earning barely enough money to keep body and soul together so now the writer is thinking about 20 years ago what happened 20 years ago they met uh, both of them met for a lunch meeting so the writer is thinking about uh, 20 years ago what happened at that time so he is saying that uh, 20 years ago i was living in paris writer is telling about himself that he was living in paris at that time and he was having very uh, small house in latin quarter uh, where uh, from where the cemetery is very near you can say cemetery means to say the place where dead bodies are buried so he was living in a very remote kind of area or in a very you can say small house actually he was a poor man at that time so he was living he was earning very small money his uh, Uh, you can say his salary was very small at that time and it was uh, you can say very difficult for him to manage his expenses at that time 
she had read a book of mine and had written to me about it so the writer was saying that she had that lady was a uh, lady was read some book of that writer at that time and she has written a letter to the writer and she had read a book of mine and read uh, written about me to about that thing and i answered thanking her and presently i received from her another letter saying she was passing through paris and would like to have a chat with me but her time was limited and only a uh, free moment she had was on the following thursday she was spending the morning at luxembourg and would i give her a little luncheon at fiots afterward so now again the writer has a, a letter uh, send a letter to that lady uh, thanking her about her uh, his praise now again that lady has written a letter to the writer and she was asking from him that if she could meet with her Uh, with him and they would have some you can say chat with each other so she she was saying that i was passing from paris from your place on next thursday so would you be able to with me for some time and uh, we will have a lunch together at fiot afterward so fiot means to say it is a name of a restaurant so uh, it is a name of restaurant and she is asking from him to have a lunch with him at that place Fiot is a restaurant at which the French senators eat, and it was so far beyond my means that I have I had never even thought of going there. So now uh, the writer is thinking about that restaurant, and he is saying that is a very expensive restaurant. The French senators means to say the political leaders of uh, France used to eat at that place. So it was uh, unaffordable for the writer to go there, and he had never thought that I would go. to that restaurant to have a lunch but i was flattened and i was too young to have learned to say no to a woman so what the writer was saying that he was totally impressed from that lady and he actually want to meet that lady and he was not matlab he was not in the condition to say no to that lady and he agreed that yes you will come at that place and we will have a lunch together so going to your next page now he was thinking like i had 80 francs gold francs uh, to last me the last rest of the month and a modest luncheon should not cost more than 15 if i could if i cut out coffee for the next 2 weeks i could manage well enough so what he is thinking about now he is saying that i am having 80 francs francs means to say like we in our country we are having rupees as a currency so at that time in france or in french countries the currency name was franc nowadays they are using euros etc so at that time their currency name was franc and he was having 80 francs with him so uh, he had to use that 80 francs for the rest of the month it means uh, it includes or you can say it was the cost of his whole month expenses and now he is thinking that if we have a normal lunch modest means not very expensive lunch if we had a normal lunch at that place it would hardly cost 15 francs and i will uh, skip my coffee for two weeks and i will manage my whole month expenses so in this way he was thinking about this and you can see from this picture also the writer is sitting and that lady is sitting to have a lunch and waiter is standing along with them so i answered that i would meet my friend by correspondence at fiots on thursday at half past 12 so right to agree to meet that lady and he had given her the time of you can say half past 12 or 12:30 on thursday then she was not so young as i expected and in appearance imposing rather than attractive so he was expecting that she must be a very young girl beautiful girl but actually she was not at uh, you can say uh, that much uh, attractive to him but she was having an impressive uh, personality she was in fact a woman of 40 and she gave me the impression of having more teeth white and large and even than were necessary for any practical purpose for uh, so what he is saying about that lady that she was having big teeth and means she was not as beautiful as he has expected but she was having a impressing uh, as you can say impressive personality and she was around 40 years old 
she was a uh, talkative but uh, since she seemed inclined to talk about me i was prepared to be an attractive attentive listener so and that lady talks too much she was very talkative and she want to know, know about that writer also so he was uh, very carefully listening her and answering his uh, her questions so ne- on next stanza I was straddled when the bill of fare was brought for the prices were a great deal higher than I had anticipated so now he was when the waiter came along with their menu card and bill of fare means to say a menu where all the you can say items that are present in that restaurant are written along with the price of that item or price of that dish so he was shocked to know that the all the dishes that are written on that uh, you can say on that menu are very costly and uh, then he had expected means he was expecting that uh, it would be uh, 50 uh, 15 francs will be enough to have a lunch at th- that place but when he saw that menu it was totally you can say shocking that all the items are very expensive but she reassured me i never eat anything for lunch and she said and what she said then she said that i never eat anything for lunch and oh don't say that i answered generously and the writer said don't say that you have to eat something don't say that we are having a lunch here and we are sitting to have a lunch here so you should eat something now i never eat more than one thing i think people eat far too much nowadays a little fish perhaps i wonder if they had they have any salmon so what she said next firstly she said that i ha- i never eat anything then she said that okay uh, i ne- never eat more than one thing she said that main kabhi bhi ek cheez se zyada nahi khati hu i will eat only one thing i think people eat far too much nowadays and she is saying that people used to eat lot of things means people eat without thinking of what they are eating and a little fish perhaps i would if they have any salmon she say, she is saying now that i will take a little fish means mai fish kha lungi aur kaun si category ki wo bol rahi hai salmon it is a special kind of large kind of fish with silver skin and having pink flesh so she want uh, she uh, you can say she said that i will eat that kind of fish if the restaurant are having if the this restaurant is having that salmon fish i will eat, i will want to eat that fish so well it was early in the year for salmon and it was not the bill of fare but i asked the waiter if there was any so uh, that the writer was thinking that that fish must not be available in at that time of this year and uh, it was not also mentioned on that menu also but even then the writer asked the waiter whether you are having that salmon fish at your restaurant or not yes a beautiful salmon had just came in it was the first they had had so the waiter said yes we are having salmon fish and this is the first salmon fish that has came to our restaurant this year so i ordered it for my guest and then the writer ordered that fish for that lady the waiter asked her if she would have something while it was being cooked so the waiter asked do you want to eat something else before the fish is uh, you can say ready for uh, you can say eating so she said no i never eat more than one thing unless you had a little caviar i never mind caviar so again she answered that i never eat anything before eating my meal and i eat only one thing but again uh, you can say she said that uh, if you uh, have a caviar now what is this caviar caviar is also the eggs of a type of fish which are very you can say um, you can say having a special kind of eggs that are preserved means to say keep uh, for a long time in a salt and she uh, um, she said that if you are having that caviar i will have that caviar before having that fish my heart sank a little now the writer was you can say afraid because he having he was having small money and she the lady was ordering the expensive things i knew i could not afford caviar but i could not very well tell her that now the writer know that he could not aff- uh, afford that caviar of what means to say he is unable to buy that caviar for her but even then he can't tell this thing to her 
I told the waiter by all means to bring caviar. So he ordered the waiter. The only thing, the only option he had left with that he had to, to say the waiter that please bring that caviar for this lady. For myself, I chose the cheapest dish on the menu, and that was a mutton chop. And uh, he looked at that menu and chose a very, you can say, cheap dish for himself. That is a mutton chop. I think you are unwise to eat meat. she said and i don't know how you can expect to work after eating heavy things like chop i don't believe in overloading my stomach so now that lady is saying that how can you eat meat you are going to work after having this meal and how you can uh, do your work after having a meat you can say this much heavy dish and she is saying that i hate uh, eating heavy dishes and i don't believe in overloading my stomach means uh, overeating i don't believe in overeating now that lady is doing uh, you can say giving this kind of lecture to that man then came the question of drink now they have decided about eating but then came the question of drink means what uh, she want to drink then i never drink anything for luncheon she said as usually as she is saying from the starting that i never eat anything for luncheon again she said i never drink something uh, or anything for the luncheon neither do i i answered promptly and the writer also said that i also don't drink anything then she again ex- except white wine she proceeded as so as though i had not spoken now writer has didn't spoken anything that i uh, you should drink this or not but uh, she uh, herself started saying that i like wine white wine these french white wines are so light they are wonderful for the digestion she is saying that white wines of french are very good for digestion and uh, i should have it what would uh, you like i ans- i asked hospital bill still and uh, see, uh, now what the writer is saying he is again asking that lady so what do you want to drink she gave me the bright and friendly flash of her white teeth again she smiled broadly my doctor wouldn't uh, let me drink anything but champagne so she is saying that except champagne my doctor doesn't allow me to drink anything i fancy i turned a trifle pale now that writer was becoming you can pale means to say light yellow color uh, his color was turning uh, you can say slightly yellow because he was afraid of his bill he was unable to for these much things for that lady and she is uh, keep on ordering things again and again on and those to those also uh, you can say expensive things i ordered half a bottle but again he ordered half a bottle of champagne for that lady i mentioned casually that my doctor had absolutely forbidden me to drink champagne so he for himself he said that my doctor has also forbidden me to drink champagne so i will not drink i will order it for you what are you going to drink then she asked that what are you going to drink then he said water so the writer said i will drink water you will drink that champagne she ate the caviar and she ate the salmon she talked gaily of art and literature and music so she ate her caviar then she ate her salmon also and then she kept on talking about the things like art literature and music etc uh, but i wondered what the bill would come to when my mutton chop arrived she took me quite seriously to task and he was thinking that what kind of bill i have to pay now and he then his mutton chop arrived I see that you are in the habit of eating le- heavy luncheon. I am sure it's a mistake. Why don't you follow my example and just eat one thing? I am sure you had uh, you would feel ever so much better for it. Now she is again giving her uh, him a lecture and advising him that you should not eat this much heavy meal and you should follow me. Like I have eaten only one thing, you should also eat one thing only. I am only going to eat one thing I said as the waiter came again with the bill of fare so again waiter came to them and he asked to choose anything else from the menu but he said that I will eat only one thing she waved him aside with a airy gesture no no i never eat anything for luncheon just a bite i never want more than that and i eat that more as an excuse for conversation than anything else i couldn't possibly eat anything more unless they had some of those jaint asparagus 
now again again she is uh, saying that i don't eat anything i just have a bite of these things and again she said that if they are having asparagus at their uh, restaurant then i will eat some of them now what is this asparagus it is a plant whose stems are used to cook and eaten as a vegetable so she is ordering now this asparagus i should be sorry to leave paris without having some of them and she is saying that now i have arrived to paris and i sh- must eat those things so my heart sank again writer uh, his heart you can say he uska jo dil hai wo chhota hota ja raha hai bar bar wo itni uh, mehangi cheeze expensive cheeze order karti hi ja rahi hai aur sath mein ye bhi bol rahi hai ki i never eat anything so i had seen them in the shop and i knew that they are they were horribly expensive उसने बोला कि मतलब वो सोच रहा था कि मेरा भी खाने का तो दिल कर रहा था लेकिन उसने पहले से देखा हुआ था कि वो बहुत एक्सपेंसिव है जो वो ऑर्डर कर रही है अब एक्सपेरागस माई माउथ हैड ऑफ एंड वाटर एट द साइट ऑफ दैम उसके भी मुंह में पानी आ रहा लाइटर के लेकिन वो अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकता नहीं खा सकता तो क्या करे अब लेकिन उसको ऑर्डर फिर से करना पड़ेगा सो ही सेड मैडम वॉन्ट्स टू नो इफ यू हैव एनी ऑफ दोज जेंट एस्पैरागस आई आस्क द वेटर सो अगेन द राइटर आस्क द वेटर दैट इफ यू आर हैविंग दैट एक्सपैरागस विच द लेडी वॉन्ट्स टू ईट प्लीज ब्रिंग दैट आई ट्राइड विद माई विद ऑल माई माइट टू विल हिम्स टू से नो अ हैप्पी स्माइल स्प्रेड ओवर हिज ब्रॉड ब्रीस्ट लाइक फेस एंड ही एश्योर्ड मी दैट दे हैड सम सो लार्ज सो स्पलैंडर्ड सो टेंडर दैट इट वॉज अ मावल सो नाउ द राइटर वॉज थिंकिंग दैट प्लीज दैट वेटर से नो दैट वी डोंट हैव दैट एज पैरगस बट अगेन वेटर विद हैविंग अ ब्रॉड स्माइल ऑन हिज फेस प्लीस्ट लाइक फेस सेड येस वी आर हैविंग दोज एज पैरगस एंड यू विल बी मार्बल मीन्स टू से यू विल वॉन्टर टू सो सॉ दैट यू कैन से स्पैरगस टू हैव दैट एज पैरगस बिकॉज दे आर वेरी यू कैन से डिलीशियस यमी एंड यू शुड हैव दैट सो मूविंग टू अर नेक्स्ट पेज नाउ I am not in the least hungry my guest sighed but if you insist i don't mind having some asparagus i ordered them so he is saying that mujhe nahi bhook lagi hai lekin main apne guest ke liye order kar raha hu to wo aap le aaiye aren't you going to have any and she asked uh, kya aap nahi khaoge no i never eat asparagus but writer uska bhi dil to kar raha hai lekin uske paas uske paas itna paisa nahi hai usko pata hai ki how can i pay the bill of this thing Uh, he is already know that he would be unable to pay for all these things so he said that no i would not eat those asparagus i know there are people who don't like them the fact is you ruin your palate by all the meals uh, all the meat you eat so she is saying that i know that many people don't like that uh, asparagus but actually the writer wants to eat but he had to say no but now she is giving again lecture to him that i know some people don't like this kind of things asparagus and why don't like because they already ruin their palate means to say palate is you can say the part of the tongue which you can say able to judge the flavors so so she is saying that you have destroyed your palate and you are not uh, unable to judge the taste of those things because you keep on eating meat etc so she is again lecturing her we waited for the asparagus to be cooked panic seized me so again they waited that that they should come uh, after cooking and usko bhi bahut matlab ghabrahat ho rahi hai it was not a question how now how much money i should have left over for the rest of month but whether i had enough money to pay the bill so uh, earlier he was thinking that he would manage his expenses of a full month after having a lunch with this lady but now he is thinking that would i be would i will be paid able to pay the bill of this uh, you can say a uh, whole lunch so he was so afraid that he would not be able to even pay the bill for two days lunch so it would be mortifying it would be mortifying to find myself 10 francs short and be obliged to borrow from my guest so he is saying that uh, agar uske paas 10 rupees bhi kam ho gaye 10 francs bhi kam ho gaye so uske liye ye badi sharmnak ghatna hogi wo us apne guest se kaise mangega ki i have you can say short of 10 francs and please give me 10 francs so it will be quite a shaming for him so i could not bring myself to do that she uh, he is thinking that i will not do that if even if i would be having a short of 10 francs i would not ask from her to pay that 
what else he was thinking so i knew exactly how much i had and if the bill came to more i made up my mind that i would put my hand in the pocket in my pocket and with a dramatic uh, cry start up and say uh, uh, it had been picked so what he is thinking right now he is thinking that i would not ask that lady to pay any bill of mine and he is saying that what i will do i will just uh, do the drama that i i am unable to pay this money because someone has stolen my money so he is thinking that i will uh, start you, you can say uh, doing this kind of drama at that time if the bill come more than the money that i have and i will say that someone has stolen my money of course it would be awkward if she had not money enough either to pay the bill because he saying that it, it will be quite awkward if she would not have money how can i ask from her so i will do this kind of drama so then the only thing would be to leave with my watch and say i would come back and pay later now he saying that after even after the drama if she would not pay the bill what i will do i will keep my watch with this uh, the owner of this restaurant i will give my watch to the owner of this restaurant and i will say that i will bring the money for you uh, after some time and then you will return my watch so uh, this is the first part of your video students next we will continue in the next part of this video